Hi, welcome to this week's segment. You know, it's common knowledge that the secret to consistent straight golf shots with good contact means a square club face at the moment of truth impact. Okay? I'll show you a little exercise here that I think will help you get a feel for that. What I'd like you to do uh, for drill purposes, take your club and just with your front arm, be it right hander or left hander, I want you to just swing the club back to the top of the swing position. And at that time, then I want you to take your opposite hand and put your finger on your back shoulder, okay? I'm a right hander, obviously, so that's my right shoulder. On the way down now, I want us to get a feel for how the club face must rotate back to closed on the way back to the back of the golf ball. And I'm doing that with both a hand movement and a rotation of the left forearm, okay? Rotate back to close. It's opening on the way back. It has to equally close on the way to the ball. We can't wait until impact to think about squaring the club face. It's too late then. Purpose of the right shoulder part of the drill is to feel that finger keeping that right shoulder back a split second longer than you're accustomed to. That allows the club to come from an inside path along with squaring up the club face gives us more consistent straight shots. Okay, The pattern for the slicer typically is the right shoulder moves over the ball towards the ball immediately from the top of the swing and the club face does not get rotated. Okay, combination of those two issues are a prescription for a slice. Okay, I think that's a quick drill help you get a feel for what you're trying to do to square the club face at impact. Thanks, we'll see you next week.